Hey guys, Bill with Clutch Constrictors. I uh, wanted to show a quick video here of some stuff I hatched out this year. And the point of this video is just to show the power of the entry gene. And I gotta go quick here because these guys are gonna start getting restless. But uh, the genes at play here are just uh, pastel spider and enchi. I got a real nice looking stinger that I bred to a pastel. And I got some pretty decent odds. And uh, but anyway, here goes a. You're looking at a regular spider right there, I believe. Except yeah, that's. I might have grabbed. Yeah, that might even be a bad looking stinger. But anyway, let's call that a regular spider. And then when we throw Enchi into it, look at the difference. How that glows. Get some better light on them. And if you ask me, that's a top notch Enchi spider right there. And that's just splashing the Enchi gene on top of a spider. Nice, cheap, affordable two gene Enchi. These are girls. So, anybody that's just getting into the hobby. Um, I did hit the triple. I had 12 eggs and I only got one. But there you go with pastel added into it. Now this girl has not shed yet though. Or I should say boy, that's a boy. So you got a regular spider here, an enchi spider here, and then the enchi bumblebee here, which is really cool because it just it cleans it up a whole bunch and I wish it had shed out. I wish you could see that, but if you just look at a picture of an enchi bumblebee or a yellow belly bumblebee or any triple gene bumblebee by itself, you think, oh, well, big deal, it's just a bumblebee, but when you put it next to a regular bumblebee, which I'm about to do here, it's a world of difference. And there on the far right is a regular bumblebee, so spider, and she spider, triple gene, and she passed El Bumblebee, which looks amazing, and it's got that, it's just about to shed. It's not in blue anymore, it's back to its normal colors, but it's got that sheen over it, it needs to shed out. And then you got the regular Bumblebee, and I hope you can see the difference. The regular Bumblebee's got a lot of speckling. The NCV's black pattern is a little different. There's not as many as many of these spots, and that's consistent throughout, because I have six Bumblebees that look exactly like that. This Enchi Bumblebee looks a little more like a tiger, and it's got a much deeper yellow. And then here's the surprise snake in the clutch. I've talked to a couple of very big breeders that everybody knows, and nobody can figure out how this thing looks like this, but this right here is probably the prettiest snake in the clutch. Come on. And it's just a two gene. And she's spider. And I know that for a fact because one of these clutches had all three genes involved and one of them was just a stinger to normal clutch. This is two different clutches. And we know for a fact that there's no other genes at play so we don't know what happened in the egg that made this thing the color it is. But unfortunately it does have a birth defect. See right there, this little girl has no eyes. So far she's a chow hound though. So she's doing well. So one more time. Regular spider. Actually this is not, I think this is a stinger. Let me get rid of him and get a different one. No, that's a spider. Yeah, that's a regular spider. So you got a regular spider. Spider with Enchi and a good example of one. Triple Gene. Bumblebee Enchi. There's a Bumblebee, which they look pretty too. Pretty nice too, I might add. And then you got that wicked looking stinger on the top. Which I have to tell you is already spoken for. Somebody has seen it, is well aware of her birth defect and does not care wants her for a pet 
And that's that. Not a terrible light over there. What did I want to show? I wanted to grab something else here. Oh, you know what? I just wanted to grab the, the sire of this clutch real quick just to show he's a snappy guy still. This is a two-year-old and she's spider and in my opinion what they should look like. I don't know if it's going to come out on camera, but it's very light. A lot of Enchi spiders, when they grow up, they'll look to be like a regular spider, very browned out. And this thing is just still gold all down the back. Yeah, it's not even... I'm looking through the camera here, and it's not showing up too good as it does in person, but as well as it does in person, but it's still very gold. I'm going to take one last peek at these babies, and then we'll cut away because they're starting to go everywhere on me. And that'll do it. Thanks for watching.